God, he's protecting my suit pants. Wow. Uh, we do have an umbrella here, uh, thanks to the beautiful Nick Shin, him and his beautiful head. It's incredible. This next contest is a singles competition scheduled for one fall. Into the ring first. my most beloved. Oh, wow! The Faye Valentine team from, uh, from Cowboy Bebop. Let's jam indeed. I'm for it. Realizing it's a little bit slippy. Taking Be careful. Their time. Be careful. It's okay. Taking their time is the, the ever talented, hard hitting, and durable Molly McCoy. I don't know if you remember, but Molly McCoy had a banger at the last Molly and Cole party against Edith Sorrell. Close. It was incredible. It was a beautiful piece of art. Of course, it was. Wow, a work of art with Edith Sorrell involved. I could not. I never saw that coming. You know, I try. Molly McCoy will be going one on one with Allison. No longer Alley Cat. She's been on a little bit of a mean streak lately. Most women, I, I, again, this is a, a woman that I have had the pleasure of getting to know throughout my life. I live in the West to get better. And the part of some of the uh, most important she grew and then she started traveling the world she's wrestled places in AEW now AEW she's gone all over the world and she escaped the room to her of being able to host Alley Cats now I guess Alley Cats Alice Cats real hot girl shit Make, bring some of the, the the best female professional wrestlers on the planet together and that inspired her to be something Different. This Look next contest is a single this competition. Is not the same Allison. Absolutely. I have known. One fall. Allison is, is fun loving. She appreciates Bruce wrestling and what it can be. And now she right. has a vendetta from against every New other wrestler that's, a, that's a crossroad. They are the greatest in the game. This is Molly Marco. And you know, their opponent coming to us from wherever she damn well pleases. She is a real motherfucking shit. This is Ali Catch. A real grappler. Because I was able to, I was able to talk to her for just a moment, and I, I saw it in her eyes. She, she wants to dedicate herself to the grappling arts, and I, Three, I appreciate two, that. One, I appreciate that. It, it, it means a lot to me to see that. Look at that. I appreciate Look at that it too. Role. But I don't, I don't like the fact that she has presented this new demeanor, this new authority, and that she wants to get more horse. I don't understand what was happening. I don't know what's going through her hair, uh, but I do know that she is determined and she's looking to get a win against the incredible Molly McCoy here tonight. Yeah, she has a vendetta against, uh, as we all know, there are archetypes in professional wrestling and she hates the character archetype, saying that it, it, it's not true to professional wrestling, failing to realize that some of the greatest wrestlers on the planet were characters. If not what they portrayed on, the, on national television, on the independents, who they were. That was their character. That was a measure of their worth. And trying to, to stamp that out, especially in War Horse, is, is frankly, it's disgusting. And I, as much of a fan of Alley Cat as I was, I don't know if I'm going to be enjoying doing commentary for Allison Cat. Not at all. I mean, it, she kind of betrayed the likes of not only War Horse, but Danhausen. Dan to Dad, Effie, her team Bussy. I, I don't know why I say Bussy with such authority. Oh, oh well, short palm strike there. That will stop from your Molly tracks. McCoy. Oh, but snatching her up, <laughs> snatching them up is Alley Cat. 
Beautifully done, though. Molly McCoy, a very dangerous competitor, like you said, had that match with Edith Surreal last year at the Poly M. Cole. And the thing about Molly McCoy is, are they, they are a devastating striker, but they are trained in every versatile style. They're, they're, they're very versatile. They have lucha training. They have catches, catch can style wrestling, but the brawler style is what they, they excel at. But that, so, but that means that they always have something up their sleeve. Mm -hmm. I think one of the hardest things about wrestling someone like Allison, the hardest thing about wrestling someone like, like Allie, is the fact that she also does not care about her body. She will throw her body around the ring and does not care if she hurts herself. That is a deadly combination when you have someone who has a new vendetta, a new agenda, a new attitude, and they don't give a fuck about anything. That is someone you do not want to be in a ring with. I think Molly McCoy will be able to handle their own but that is someone you do not want to be in a ring with. You nailed it. Able to uh, twist out of that uh, that butterfly style maneuver. It will turn over to a Japanese stranglehold. Racking back and forth is Ali Ka or Allison Catch. I see. Slip of the tongue there. Able to slip it downwards. Okay, got and tongue. stepping on the left hand of Molly McCoy. And I can't say that I'm not impressed. Allison Catch has indeed proved. They are a grappler. They are a professional wrestler. They have been working so hard. Look at this right here. A, a twister style maneuver, a, a face crank, smashing in the, the, the chin and then the, uh, the nose area of Molly McCoy. Firing out with those palm strikes to the hip and the leg area. Short elbow strike, another short elbow strike. I think when it comes to brute strength, I think both of these people are evenly matched. Molly is, Molly is a powerhouse. Molly will keep it coming. Same way that Allison will. Molly, Molly is uh, is unique in the fact of the matter that Molly is, is so is stout and short, so they are very low to the ground. They're able to snap off suplexes, snap off strikes in places that you wouldn't expect them to. They're always swinging upwards, and they have learned to do it well. And Ali Ken, or Allison Catch has learned how to throw these knee strikes in the back just devastatingly well. Oh my and God. a huge senton, beautifully placed. <laughs> Molly reaching down deep. Allison Catch methodically taking her time now, walking around McCoy, giving them a chance to get to their feet, which I don't think is a, wow, telling McCoy to bring it. That is the worst idea to give a, an opportunity to a brawler like that. Uh, Molly could very well like nail Allie in, or Allison in the liver and, and body her. Oh, but not when she's hammering Molly on the back like that. And a seated sent onto the back, really working it over. Another variation of a coat or of a camel clutch here. Allison has to be really careful here. She needs to make sure that she's uh, treading the line between arrogance and confidence. I think if she gets a little bit too arrogant, Molly will be able to gain control here. Again, Molly is not someone to mess around with. Molly has just the amount of strength. Molly has just the amount of technical ability. Allison needs to be careful here where she's treading this line. Definitely. Oh, a lace scrape to the eyes there in the face. It just burns, and especially if you get it in the eye, you can blind your opponent. These are nasty tactics Allison is doing. A straight strike to the face, and sometimes another straight slug to the mouth! Sometimes that's all you need is a good punch. Getting Allison off her guard. Now just hammering with forearms. Wow, Allison is out on their feet! Molly, oh my god, what is Molly going for here? Maybe a, style, a Widow's Peak style maneuver. Not able to get the taller Allison, cat, uh, Allison catch up, who's hammering away at that back! Strong blow to the lower back. That's going to knock anybody down on their feet. Axe style stomp there. And look at look at McCoy just grimacing in pain, reaching out in agony. Ask, telling the referee to ask if she can, if they can continue. If, if, as though Molly McCoy knows what quit is. Oh, catching the McCoy on the jaw. Reversal with the Irish rep. Swimming back around, back through, pushing into the ropes. Trip style maneuver, beautifully done. Where is McCoy going? Low lariat to the upper back. Molly has to keep this momentum oh, up. Oh, and a punt kick style maneuver, soccer style. And a, oh my God, Main just straight kick to kick. the head. 
matchup like this is even more harder with the torrential rain around us. You've got to be a little bit more careful. Oh, certainly short DDT there, dragging Allison over into a guillotine too. Legs Beautiful. wrapped around. Yes, there absolutely are. Great find in, and McCoy has that that hooked in deep too. Look at the hand of Al Allison catch. I know Allison oh. has uh, always uh, used a variation of a pile driver. I, I guess you, she won't be calling it the thing she used to call it anymore. But I'm wondering whatever maneuver she have, especially working the back, going for a clothesline, but slipping off in the rain. Turning oh, over into an up prettier. Just close your eyes. Deep pin, deep pin. Not enough, though. Molly has incredible momentum right here. They've got the crowd behind them. They just got to keep it going. Allison is knocked out. Allison is dead on her feet. She is most certainly does not know where she's going. Again, going for that Widow's Peak style maneuver, a gory special lock. But again, Al Allison catches so much, is a little bit taller than Molly McCoy. So they're not able to get her out, but there's it. Oh my God, those kidney strikes and working over that back again. Sometimes oh the best thing isn't the prettiest thing. Double foot push. Able to get a little bit of spot. Oh my God, straight forearm strike to Allison. Forearm strike to the top of the head. Oh my God, maybe going, it seemed like a Northern Lifestyle maneuver. Both of these women, they're drenched in sweat, they're drenched in the rain. Everything's getting slippery, but look at that! Able to DDT by Molly McCoy for the one, the two, oh, and the kick out by Allison Cash. But look at her, look at her. She's holding her back, she feels it. Molly needs to keep it up. Molly needs to stay on Allison right here not let her get to her feet. Look at Allison though, pounding the mat too, trying to get herself psyched up as Molly McCoy stands behind behind her. What, what can they go for next? There it is, going, hooking it for again for that gory special, whatever she has, whatever they have ready for that. This is now the third time they tried this. But Allison catch able to have a super deep backslide pin. Not enough, just rolling out, maybe due to the rain. Oh my God, going for that pile driver though. Slipping through, rolling through with a version of, a, of an alligator clutch almost. Almost slipping on the rain. Oh, up kick. And what is she going for next? Beautiful Northern Light suplex. That could be it. Beautiful place. And again, due to the rain and not having enough. And already, look at the fury on Allie's face. Just, just calling out her fans around here too. Darnell, she is snapped fully. She's over this, she's done. I, I, I still don't understand where this new mentality is coming from, but you know what? It looks like it's gonna be successful for her. Maybe it can lead her to some championships in the future, because she's here to wrestle. What is People forget she is a great professional Wrestler. Oh my God! Back to that gory special position. And as I, I spoke about it before, Allison was not was too tall. Four for Molly. Oh, up. There oh. it is, perfectly hit gory special. Oh, Molly McCoy, the back is hurting. Allison has kept on that back the entire matchup. Molly McCoy doesn't have enough energy to throw her over for the one, two, three. Is this gonna cost this her? This it. This could be it. This could be it. Oh my God! And Allison bridging out of it. I will say, I think Molly McCoy had this match won if it wasn't for that small amount of time waiting. Most certainly, and again though, that, that tells you Allison's game plan is working to a T. Working over the back of Molly McCoy made it more difficult for them to be able to get them into that gory face buster. Going for the Kabu kick, missing. What a... Allison capitalizing. Yes, Allison hooking and for... to a Boston, Boston crab. crab. Oh, I've seen this maneuver. It's, she does it's a over. Bending. Molly McCoy. She does a bending yes. back bridge with it. Oh my God! And she almost got to it as well. And she gets the tap. That even says a lot. She didn't even have to do the bending back bend because she had worked on Molly's back the entire match. That was determination. Allison went into this matchup with a plan. Allison went into this matchup with a hundred percent plan and said, "I am not going to continue for this plan." And look what, look what happened. Most certainly, game plan executed to perfection. The Boston Crab gets the victory here tonight, bending Molly McCoy in half. And it's unfortunate that she's showing this level of dis disregard for Molly McCoy, who absolutely brought it to Allison tonight. And 
Credit where credit is due. Both of these competitors did phenomenal, and they deserve their dues. I feel like, yes, we sounded like a broken record all here tonight, but everyone has been killing it tonight for Polly Cole Party 3. Molly McCoy, they were absolutely fantastic. Molly McCoy absolutely brought it to Allison Catch. Allison Catch, just uh, the better competitor for this evening.